Hello my soccer universe and welcome to another unpacking video, another German team. And if you know anything here on the background, and I know this will change soon, and probably by the time this post the video you already see that I will have added another blue team because I think this will not be the next one that posts. I leave this rather there. But it is time to reveal to you my actual favorite German team. Absolute 100% favorite German team of all time. Overall. The problem is they're not playing in the Bundesliga. So yeah, but it is a blue team and they had been, when I was in my formative years, a rather successful team um, and were kind of a nice alternative. Now this particular shirt that I have here, it's very interesting pack. It's basically just some packing paper made into a parcel. Uh, this particular shirt I think I saw lingering around because it has a little defect on the printing on the arm, the arm, like for rather cheap. And I have to say, of this team, I always want to have. It's actually a travesty that I don't have a jersey from this team. Um, I always want to have, but it was usually around 30, 40, you know, not, not cheap. Because, you know, it is late 90s, early 2000s. So it was not, uh, it was definitely not a cheap jersey, but this one was hanging, 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 hanging hang around that I saw for 10 bucks. And so I just uh, had it on the side. And then I got the notification, you know, this is running out uh, today, the listing. And I said, okay, that might be a chance. Put instead of 10, I put in uh, seven because three were for shipping. That's usually how all the world I do. Uh, you know, I think this is just about acceptable. Let's see if it will get, get accepted and accepted it did get. So yeah, I have the shirt of my favorite German team. I have to say the front looks actually very good. It's actually in really, really good condition. Uh, overall, on the back, unfortunately, the number is uh, slightly damaged and maybe has to have, have, to, have to take it off. There's even, yeah. This used to be an Austrian player. This is something that needs to be replaced, but that uh, <laughs> we know how we could maybe get this done. Uh, yeah, this team had a lot of Austrian players and this was probably one of the better ones. But yeah, let me show you. Tada! My favorite German team. 1860 Munich, 2000-2001 season. Nike Classic, light blue, so would fit perfectly. I lost there only in the third league. Um, and I can show you, it should, it should be Martin Stranzel. The print, unfortunately, has worn really, 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 really badly. You can maybe make out Stranzel a little bit on the back and the two is almost gone. So yeah, uh, that's maybe a little bit of a downer, but maybe uh, it's another reason to just maybe try to remove the number and see if anything else can be done with it. So yeah, but you know, uh, I thought for seven bucks, I'll take it now. It would be even nicer to have the one from the pre-previous season when they finished in fourth place and were really uh, flying high. That season here, this was kind of the first one, a little bit in decline, uh, where they then finished in 11th. And yeah, uh, not too long later, now they're in the third league. It's really, really, really sad to see that because I always thought that 1860, this is, uh, it's a true Munich team. Bayern is more or less, you know, it says a name, it's for the whole state of Bavaria, whereas 1860 is a true Munich team. Um, and the other thing that I really always like about 86, yeah, as an Austrian, you always have kind of an affinity towards Bavaria. However, Bayern Munich is not a very um, likable club in many ways. 1860 filled this hole and when they kind of really were well, it was very easy to jump on board and support them. I even think I uh, visited uh, once a game against Dortmund. 1860, but I think this was in 99, 2000. It might have been the successful 99, 2000 season or the 1890, 99. One of those two seasons, I saw them play against, no, Gladbach. I saw them play against Gladbach and I saw them play against Dortmund. I, I have my dates mixed up there, but you know, it was really fun uh, to, visit, to, to, to visit them. And also that they had many Austrian players at the time made it really, really, really easy. And so, yeah, um, I finally have... 1860. I really hope they can come back because it will be so much fun to have uh, this team back in the league and to have a Munich Derby again, although it will be rather, rather one-sided. But yeah, this is, as I said, uh, early 2000s Nike 
classic logos are a little bit smaller i actually like the sponsor i mean they had some really outrageous shirt when they came up in the bond in, in the bundesliga this was more of a classic look um yeah i'm quite happy with that so yeah let me know what you think about this jersey and the team <laughs> of course um and you know if you can drop me down below who, who, who is your favorite german team i mean i can tell you that uh normally now at the teams uh, over the last few years i was more or less for Köln. um i always had a like for bremen i always had a like for stuttgart um always had a like for schalke as well but 1860 was always the team that stuck out but you know now it's the four meanwhile frankfurt and of course freiburg although uh, my stuttgart allegiance is strong as so i cannot really like freiburg but there's a lot to like about freiburg as well so yeah there, there you go those are the teams that, they, that i actually do like in germany go figure any case, please give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever happens something in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.